Guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, JB Tutorials, and uh, today we've got a good one. This is a really popular, one of my favorites uh, going back. This Darth Vader image, which I'm getting from this website, so thank you to these people for providing this. This is just an, a resource link this is not to use commercially or to duplicate or anything like that this is strictly for a tutorial purpose to learn this effect in illustrator anyways i will provide this link at the bottom so you can grab this photo we'll go through this together and then what i'd like you guys to do is try to f uh, grab your own picture and create the same effects on your own okay so what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to drag the photo to your desktop or to a folder uh, you can open up Illustrator let's just minimize that and let's go to Illustrator we're gonna create a new landscape size document we'll call this Darth Vader Star Wars typography Illustrator Okay, and we'll go with a 11 by 8 and a half. I'm going to show you guys how easy this technique is. Now you've probably seen this on the internet. Um, people will build these types of, of uh, pieces, mostly in Illustrator, and it's really not that hard to do. So let's place in that image of Darth Vader. And we'll put him in the background. You can size it up. I'll just leave it at 100% because it is quite a good resolution photo. But like I do with most, oh, here's a little handy tip. If you're ever wondering how to copy and paste or how to line something up in the middle of your document, what I do is I go Command X or Edit Cut. Okay, now that hides temporarily. And then if you go to View, uh, bit artboard to window and paste it comes in exactly in the center now that's really handy because sometimes you're trying to line things up when you bring it in or you want it to look clean you want to make sure the margins are all equal there you go okay so let's go to our layers palette now this is pretty standard what I like to do Double click the layer, as long as your selection is active, we'll call this Darth Vader Original. Okay. We're going to lock and dim, and you can change that to whatever opacity, but let's go with 50%. Okay, let's create a new layer. We'll call this Drawing Layer or brush layer, whatever you want to say, a type layer. Um, you can add more layers, but let's just go with that for now, drawing layer. All right, next thing we're going to do is, I'm also going to go back to Firefox. I will put this link in that folder as well. I'm going to copy and paste that for you down at the bottom. Um, but we'll just go to a few of these popular... Darth Vader quotes and now you can use a few a bunch repeat um, you can use a whole story if you'd like uh, let's take let's take this one I find your lack of faith disturbing I'm not even gonna try to use my <coughs> James Earl Jones impression today uh, We'll save that one for another day. Okay, so I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste in that quote. If you want to paste in a whole bunch. Oh, by the way, if you are like me and you're an old school Illustrator user and you said, hey, one day they took away this, it used to be white in the background outside of the artboard, you can change that back. You just go under Preferences, go to User Interface, and you can actually lighten up that background. and not so dark in the background. And then you can still see your artboard really clearly. Okay, 
So let's work with this piece of type or this quote. All right. Now, this is how easy it is. And if I make a few mistakes along the line, no problem. Uh, it's been a couple months, so just going to review that. Okay, go to your brush palette. That was the one I was trying to open up. Now, if you've got a standard set of default brushes in there, no problem. Yours might look a little different. Um, and if you're on a Mac or a PC, it might also be different. Anyways, let's just do the first thing. Let's drag that right into the brush palette and just see if that works. Selection contains text, which must be converted. Okay, so it comes up with the default error, which doesn't let you do it. So that's fine. Um, other thing I want to do is always duplicate or make a couple duplicate uh, duplicated versions. Let's change up that type. I want to use something a little bit more. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what we come up with here. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's it can be a sans serif serif font. Let's just find something that works. If you don't have this font in your system, find something that works uh, or something similar. And you don't want to have a very chunky font. You don't want to have a slab serif. I'm going to try Bank Gothic. Okay, Bank Gothic is a kind of a neat font. And we'll see. And like I said, if that doesn't work, we'll go back. Okay, I'm going to duplicate that option drag. Let's convert this one to outlines. Where are you? Create outlines or Command Shift O. All right. Now let's try that brush effect again. So I'm going to drag that to my brushes. Art brush. And here you get a lot of options. Now I'll call this Darth brush or whatever. I'm not going to get into much detail here for now. I'll let you guys explore that. Oh, what happened there? What did I do? Let's try that again. Art brush, okay. Darth. And how come that's not working? Okay, if that didn't work for you, let's just try our brush. Oh, it is working. Sorry, guys, I am completely out of it. It's been a long day. I was hearing this blink on my computer like it wasn't taking, but it did. It's right here. Okay, I find your lack of faith disturbing. All right, so if you have that selected and you select your brush, watch the magic. Okay, so now, interesting thing, when you use brushes, notice that brush is dependent on stroke because technically a brush is an outline, okay? Computer still thinks it's an outline, so the computer isn't smart enough to say, well, change your font size because it's not a font anymore, so you actually want to change your stroke size to make it smaller if you want to make it smaller. Okay, so you can do that. Now that went way too small. Let's try 0.55. Okay, so that's pretty good. So if you're okay, so that's one technique. Now, with that technique, that's all I'm going to do in this tutorial today. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a couple tricks here. Now, if you like to paint, oh, by the way, that's a lot of stuff. We'll just move all that up here out of the way. You can delete that later. Let's zoom in nice and close. And let's just start painting, okay, with our brush. Now, I could create a few different quotes, um, but we'll get started with that, okay? So you can see how this is turning out. Now, if you turn your, where's my layers here? Just gonna go to layers and see how that is. Okay, so I'm actually going to select all my types. Sorry, I just selected a bunch of stuff. So let's marquee that select, and notice that it went back to one point stroke. Okay, let's change that to 0.5 or whatever. Whoa. Not 35.5. There you go. And let's 
continue to paint. Now, a nice thing about this is there's really no good or bad, and I can also go make it smaller. And you just follow the contours. Sometimes when you hold it for too long, it you get a misshape or it, it's not as easy to control. So you guys decide how much you want to use. Now, if you're not good with the brush tool, also if you're not crazy about the font, change up the font. I'm not crazy about this font. I just liked it because it was kind of blocky, kind of strict like Darth. Okay, He's a very strict father, so that's kind of a strict looking font okay now like I said if you're not crazy about using the brush tool or you got shaky hands too much coffee you can just go to the pen tool okay so in the pen tool and you can turn off smart guides whatever you can draw lines okay you can follow your shapes and now I'm deselecting after everyone I'm holding command click okay so I'm using a shortcut also if these smart guides are getting in your way just go to view and turn off smart guides okay maybe you want to re repeat a pattern okay maybe you've got kind of an area you, you want to fill in uh, let's see what I did here I'm not sure what I'm doing you could always power duplicate. Now I'm just holding option dragging and then going command D or control D. You get this cool effect. So if you want to do that. Ah, that's all right. Take this and flip it around. And select. Select now. Watch this, guys. You can, even if you have a, an outline or a stroke created, you can use that effect as well. So let's make that a small point. Five. If you zoom in nice and close, you see that that's all because I made a really small stroke point width. And same for this. I created these shapes down on the bottom. I can go and turn those into brushes, brush effects. And you can also go back if you want to change the size of your font so that it always comes in smaller, then go ahead and change your percentage there. Okay. And let me just do a little bit of the shape of the body here and we're almost done. Going back to the brush. You can follow the shadows, you can follow the outline. You can go back in and you can always adjust your brush. So if you find that, and here's a preview mode, sorry, go view preview, view outline. So if you find that maybe your path isn't correct, you want to adjust something, you can go back and do that as well. Command Y lets you toggle back and forth. And you can add more quotes in as you go. But I think that's enough to get you going. This looks a little bit static, a little bit dry. I hope you guys can make something that looks really cool. Um, please leave a comment or like this video or Send me some of the stuff that you guys have created. Would love to see uh, a whole Star Wars collection we can create for us uh, Star Wars geeks out there. But at the end of the day, I think we're all Star Wars geeks. That's it, you guys. Awesome art brush. We'll continue with this one in the next episode. Have a good one. Illustrator rocks.